Hi, this is Chris, or Charlie Sierra Tango Golf Papa Alpha. Here's another edit for today. Here's a picture I took in May of this year, and first of all, it's it's a pretty picture. It does exactly what I want it to do, which is tell me about a walk I made with my dogs, but not really good enough for exhibiting yet, or putting up on Flickr. So let's start by cropping it. So we go to the crop tool. Now if you look up here I've pre-selected A4 size which is 22 by 29.7. You can change any of these and preset your own. I've chosen a resolution of 600 dots per inch because I do occasionally go up to fairly large sizes and I, I like to have the number of dots per inch. So that's what we've done. We're going to have an A4 size. Let's just pick it out to start with like this. And that's good enough there. Now let's move this around and you just left click, put your mouse in the middle of it, move it around. Now notice, you probably may not be able to see it, actually, but the centre point is right about here. There's a little star. Let me see if I can move it there. You can see it moving around now. Do you see it there? There it is. OK, now. But I want the dogs in the right-hand corner. Bit of sky up here. This is leading off into the distance, which is exactly how I want it. It is level, if you look across here, so we don't have to worry about horizons. OK, so click OK. And now we're going to fit it on the screen. There we go. So it still looks, it looks a lot better. We seem to have a better focus now. There's not so much blank space in the front. The road actually leads off into the distance. See a bit of sky. You can see an, a nice look. It's nicely framed good enough but still not what I really want. I want to brighten it up a little bit so let's go to image and guess what we're going to do again HDR toning just because it helps in this particular type of image. Now those are the presets and if you look you can change these but let's start with radius and if I take it down to zero you can see what it does so let's bring it up to where we think it should be and that's about right so a little bit back and now the strength so if we go back to zero and again bring it up and if you go all the way up to here you can see what it does we don't want it quite as much as that. It looks a little surreal. But yeah, there, yeah, that's good. Now let's look at the gamma. If we take it down to here, and then bring it up slowly, and let's take it all the way to the other way, and you can see what it does. So bring it back to about the middle, and that's about right. Let's brighten it up just a tad. There we go. Oh, let's click on it, sorry. sorry about that, there we go. Now the exposure, exposure is just about right, but let's just show you what it does. So, there we go, and just a little, that's good, that's good. And now let's get a little detail. Now, if you take it too far, you can see what it does. And you see an awful lot of HDR images like that. That's why people are tending not to like them. So, if you're going to do it, and if you take it all the way the other way, you can see what happens. It looks rather odd. But it, again, surrealistic if, you, if that's what you want. Just play with it. But in my instance, I want a little bit more detail, not quite as much as that. Yeah, that looks about a bit. 
Now, play with the shadows. If you take it all the way to there, you can see you lose detail. And then bring it up. And especially looking, if you look in this part here while I do this, you'll find it easy. There you go. And I've brought out a little bit of detail. Now you can see a little bit more of the ivy going up the tree. So that's exactly what I want. Highlights. Again, if you do that, you can see what happens. And I'm going to bring it up a bit. A bit more. And if you go the other way, totally, it's not what you want. So let's take it back. And as you can see, just play with it just a little bit. And there we go. Now, vibrancy. If you take it down to zero, you can see what happens. You lose the vibrancy. You're not losing saturation here, per se. Now, I want it just, just about there. And saturation, if you, again, if you take that down, that's where you lose the black, go into black and white, one way of doing it. Not the best way, by the way. And just too much. And that's about right. So, there we have it. Say OK. OK, now this HDR image is, is nearly what I wanted, but let's add a uh, curves layer. You go up here and you click it, and as you can see, it's got a curves layer. You can name this, whatever you want. Um, but I want to see a little, a little bit more contrast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here in the middle, and then click by about the middle of this here and as you can see I can either make it slightly more contrasty or just you can do whatever you want with that that's obviously not what I want but I want it just about just about there okay and now I want to go I want to click on my background layer because I'm just do the final thing which is sharpen. So actually let's layer flatten the image. And now we'll go filter, sharpen, and I use the unsharp mask. And as you can see my settings are fifty percent with a radius of one and a zero threshold. And that gives me just what I want. So there we are, the final image. Looks a little better than the, the, the first one, and that's why I use HDR. It may not necessarily sell as a print, but it gives me a much better record of what I want. Hope you enjoyed it.